Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'm going to show you how to do Join As We Go on crocheted granny squares. I really don't like sewing them together with a needle and thread and yarn, so um, there is a better way to do it, and I'm going to show you what we do right here. Okay, I've already done these two and started on this one so that you can get a good idea of what I'm doing. The first square I did, I went all the way around, just like you would do on a regular granny square. I have clusters of three on the sides with one chain in between, and I have two clusters of three on the side with two chains in between, and that's a normal pattern for a granny square. The second one I did, I did three sides, and then I joined on the way across. And I'm going to show you how to do that one right now with this square, which I have started. I did three sides, and because this only touches one square right now, it's only going to need, I only need to show you how to do one side. So in my corner, usually we have two chains. I'm going to chain one, take the hook out, go into this corner, pull the yarn through and make my other chain. Now that's attached and I'm going to do my second cluster of three in this corner just like that. Then I'm going to take the chain, the, the hook out, go in here, bring the loop through and connect it. Then I'm going to do the next cluster just like this Sometimes when you start to get a big piece, it's a little bit funny trying to work all the squares at once, but you take the hook out, go in the space, bring the loop through, and chain. finish the chain. One more cluster on this side here. Then we'll get into the corner. So there's my three crochet. Hook out. I'm kind of holding this so that the I don't lose the loop. But you go in here, catch the loop and like bring it through like so. Now we're going to finish this corner. One more cluster in the corner. Chain one, go through the corner, bring the loop through, finish the chain off and then we're going to connect it here and slip stitch and finish that one. Now I have three of them connected together but you'll notice the next one is going to have to tuck into a corner with two sides. I have to connect here. Alright, so let's take Let's take this one and I'm going to finish off two sides because I have two sides ready here that I don't really need to do anything with right this second. All right. Get this started. I'm going to do one cluster in this corner and we'll connect it when we come back around. Chain one. And I'm just going to zip along the side here. Okay, cluster, one chain, cluster, one chain, two clusters in the corner, two chains in the, for a turning chain. If you don't have one of these bowls, you're missing something. They are really handy. All right, almost there. Let's finish this side. Make my first corner cluster. And chain one. Now I have to connect here. 
So I'm going to go in this corner and pull the loop through like that. Do my next cluster on this side right here. Pull out the hook. Go in the next space. And pull it through. Another cluster. Two three, pull it out, here's my loop, bring it through and connect, do it again, go one more time, like so, okay, now we're in a corner, and I'm going to have to connect with the two chain on that other square. So here's my cluster, chain one. I'm just going to go in here. You can pick any of these corners that you want, but I'm going to go straight across so it's a diagonal attachment. I think that will make the least amount of hole in that corner. So now I'm going to make my other corner cluster right here and then I'm going to take out the hook and we're gonna start on this side another cluster here okay take out the hook all right like so just a little bit left. One more here on this side. Okay, take out the hook. Get this last space here. All right, one more in the corner. Chain one. Go into this corner gap right here. Pull this through, finish it off, and I'm going to connect it over here in this corner like so. Slip stitch and finish. And sew it. You can go either way with this. It doesn't really matter. Just weave in your ends as you go and you will have less hassle at the end. And there you go. No sewing. I have four squares put together and I don't have to sew a single thing. When I finish the size I want, I'll go once around the outside and you can do different patterns for finishing it off. But um, that's how easy that is. And I hope you enjoy making your granny squares and not having to sew them. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.